A hey, shalom, shalom, all praises, honor, glory goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, double honor to the apostles, elder bishop, the great millstone, who are well. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. And this is going to be a, uh, a walk and talk. A walk and talk lesson you know some short this is actually uh, inspired by a video I was watching earlier I was catching redacted live maybe like 20 minutes ago and they had an individual on um, the show that did a documentary I believe the documentary is called uh, this is treason the Edomite he had an American flag behind him I'll try to put a, maybe a snapshot or maybe a little clip of the video who knows we'll see uh, the, the link in the description or the comment board something like that so you can check it out um, I didn't watch all of it but the what I did catch was very interesting again he, he made it he made a documentary called this is treason treason basically the American government selling out the American people and um, he was on the show complaining he was complaining a lot about the uh, the migrants the, the different immigrants that are coming over here, mainly, mainly from uh, Central and South America and Africa. That's the main complaint when you listen to these uh, individuals, these Edomites, these patriots, these Americans speak about the, the different uh, foreigners coming over. It's mainly the Africans, okay, which a lot of Jakes are coming over, Haitians too, um, um, also you know, they've always been complaining about the, the Central Central and South Americans coming up, mainly Central Americans, Hondurans, El Salvadorians, Mexicans, right? <clears throat> they, 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 they complain about them coming up and how, you know, the, the American government is taking um, care of them, this and that, that and this. Um, also, he was speaking to um, the different FEMA camps that are, that are, that are set up all around the United States you know he, he actually you know he Esau goes out and he searches things out you know he does his due diligence and basically he came to the conclusion that the American government the leaders the, the leaders that are in uh, leadership have sold them out they have gone against the so-called uh, Constitution um, and sold and sold the American people out to the globalists and Esau, Esau is, is, is upset. Okay, let me um, let me get let me get a scripture. Bear with me. Let me just walk across the street. Bear with me. All right, and this is uh, this is going to play right into uh, the Civil War. This is going to play into uh, race wars. This is going to play into the whole collapse. Of, of this society you got a, a lot of Edomites that, that are pre preparing excuse me that are preparing for uh, this collapse and that are also upset at the change in demographics some of them believe that uh, Trump is going to get in there and save them um, they're, they're truly upset at the different politicians that are allowing uh, migrants to come over and I, I believe Biden just passed some, something where he passed something where um, he's, he's going to allow over like a million migrants to become U.S. citizens. You know, individuals that married a, U, a United States citizen, he's going to grant them, you know, uh, citizenship. So the, the, the Edomite that's been living so great, that's been, you know, the top nation that's had... All the nations under them, their dollar was strong. People looked at them with, with reverence and fear and respect. And now they're being shitted on in their own, in what they believe to be their own country. But what's, what's happening is, uh, this is, this is a shame on you. This is called blowback. This is called recompense. This is called judgment. Okay, but let me get this. Isaiah 19. All right. 
And as you go out, is this going to be nothing but chaos um, here in America? Okay, nothing but chaos. Isaiah 19 and 2, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, and they shall fight everyone against his brother, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. The, the, modern, the modern Egyptians are the Edomites now, all right, because they are, um, they are in the power ship. They're in the power ship role, okay? And they, they, there was a time where they were able to assert their dominance in the earth, and again, you know, uh, everybody looked at them with respect and reverence and, you know, and wow, Esau, all the women wanted them, you know, all the men wanted to be like them, right? You, you, you had our people dying their, dying their hair, blonde, especially the black woman, or getting the perm. They wanted to be like the Edomites because they equated the, the wealth that he has obtained with him being, you know, a, a God-like people, and the Lord blessing them. But now those blessings are starting to turn into curses. Let me get that. And Esau, Esau is, he's upset. Okay, he's, he's actually upset that his kingdom is falling right before his eyes and there's nothing that he can do about it. And the main ones that's doing it is his own people. You can't you can't blame the migrants from coming over here. Who who allows them to come to uh, America? Who gives them, you know, EBT cards and housing and vouchers and this and that? Who, who does that? The the powers to be your the, the Edomites, the ones that are in rulership. And if you go, if you dig deep enough, you understand that it's the, the, the wicked elite, the globalists. They call the globalists. We know as the so-called illuminated ones. Amalek that's setting the stage up for a one world government. This is all part of them collapsing uh, these Western societies, these modern societies, the, uh, you know, flooding, flooding the, these countries with immigrants is part of that to over to overload the system, to to create uh, to, uh, to create friction. OK, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. But this is all. This all symbolizes uh, Esau's downfall. There, there will be no, you know, he's somehow, you know, America, you, we're going to save America. We're going to wake people. Now, this is it. And this is it for the Edomites as a whole. OK, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. So all, all our enemies, starting with uh, Amalek. All the way down to Japheth. Okay, mainly here in America, um, Esau. They're, they're gonna start. They're gonna. They're, well, they're actually experiencing uh, the curses. Their taxes are going up. All right, they're. they're they don't have the. Uh, they, they don't have that that status anymore. You know, they're they're uh, if they're patriotic, they're they're uh, they're deemed racist. They can't be patriotic like that anymore. That's deemed as, as racist. They can't uh, fly the American flag. That's deemed as racist. And they, they once were able to do these things without any interruption by anybody. Nobody could say anything. If, if somebody did say something, they'll come down upon them with the sword. And that's how Esau got down. But he, he can't do that now. The average, the average everyday Edomite, he can't do that. He's upset. But, but be, best believe he has his sword. He got his sword prepared. Okay. And the wicked elite got, uh, the most high got the wicked elite sword prepared, which they are the, the heavenly father's sword. Hide me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Okay. But let me go into, um, th these curses are, are falling, they're falling upon Esau now. Now it's going to fully be manifested, you know, when this place is destroyed and the kingdom is established. Okay, but we see, you know, everything, everything is in stages. Okay, I want to get Baruch, up, Baruch, excuse me, because as I was watching, uh, as I was watching that video, uh, this, this precept came to my mind, because they're, they're just redacted, pretty much, uh, you got clay, was it, uh, 
what's their names? Morrison, I believe. Clay and what's I forget the I forget the wife's name. You know, they I mean they could be you, you never know, they could be Jake's. I mean the woman, she's Portuguese. I'm not sure uh about the about the husband. But basically, you know, they could be they're, they're probably Edomites. Regardless of the fact they they are complaining they are complaining. The main ones that are complaining about the, the, the fall of America and the change of demographics and the, the immigrants that are coming up. I mean, Jake is really not complaining like that. Um, Esau is the main one that's complaining because he, 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 he's, he, he's afraid when he sees too many dark faces. Again, he, Esau, the, the guy's name was JJ. That's what they called him on the show they they he was mainly complaining about and this goes for all these individuals that are complaining about the state of america all right and the and especially these migrants they mainly speak and complain about the migrants all right from africa you know the caribbeans all right and central and south america the the darker the darker skinned ones you know, brown, brown people. They they mainly complain about brown people. Jake, okay. And he he was he he's complaining. And redacted, they just pretty much complain about the state of America, showing you that this thing is collapsing, and it, it's collapsing so rapidly that Esau is making his head spin. He's trying to do documentaries. You have uh, individuals that are trying to do freedom marches, um, that are trying to wake up the people. <laughs> that is not going to happen. It's just going to be a perpetual fall, a continuous fall, all the way until your children get drafted, all right, into World War III, and ultimately America destroyed by Russia, Iran, okay, China, all the all these different nations that have nuclear missiles even even Europe is going to turn their back on America according to prophecy okay Baruch 4 we'll just read this and and 31 miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice at thy fall right who rejoice at our fall who uh Esau 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 and the other nations they rejoice at the fall of Jacob. Okay, they I mean they had fun. They they had fun for for scores of years. Okay. Our, our people basically built up their uh society. They had dominance over us. They were the head, we were the tail. They had their way with us and they had a good time, okay? But now now the misery is starting to kick in. They can actually see this place, uh, you know, fall right before their eyes. They can they can actually see it. They're experiencing it. Okay, the Edomite the Edomite is experiencing it. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. Right. Esau got his children his children's own dope now. That fentanyl that fentanyl is raging through Middle America. Okay. Out here in uh, the Bay Area, it, it, it's just filled with crime, crime waves, uh, business, businesses. And who owned these businesses? Was it Jake that owned these businesses that were shutting down? Some of them. But mainly it was Esau, all right, that owned these businesses for, you know, decades, you know, a century. A fam family owned, you know, sandwich shop, a family owned furniture store, a family owned moving uh, 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 company, a family owned, you know, they sell spices or whatever it may be, drugs, whatever it may be. Now, you know, they're shut down. They were, they were able to amass, you know, the American dream. Mo they have multiple streams of income now. Now it's, it's, it's uh, non-existent. They have to shut down. They have to probably move somewhere because prices are too high. Okay, they're they're getting bid out by 
the, the, the Moab and Elam coming over and, and buying, buying up property. Then they're seeing an overflow of, of brown faces. Okay. For she, for, for as she rejoiced at thy ruin, and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. And this is pretty much what, she, what we see today. E Esau is, is on the, on the uh, internet complaining. He's grieved. Right? He, he actually see, he see, like, man, what, what can we do to stop this? There, there's nothing that you can do to stop this. This is an in, uh, uh, unstoppable force. Okay? This is an unstoppable force that's, that's, taking place this is a prophecy that's taking place okay and you can't you can't stop prophecy all right from taking from uh you know pretty much taking over okay Hi. how you doing let me um let me yeah 34 for i for i will take away the rejoicing see you you go 30 years back Esau was not there was not this this great outcry of Edomites complaining this, this was it was a very fringe group of you know guys like Alex Jones very maybe one or two people that really knew what was going on but from there from you know that 20 30 years ago 40 years ago the 20s you know coming out of World War II okay um, the, the, the roaring 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, Esau was doing great. Okay, he, he had the, the world's reserve currency. He's able to travel the world. He's able to send his kids to college. He's able to build these multi-million dollar and billion dollar companies. He was, he was able to, you know, have uh, 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 preeminence. Over all the nations, all the nations looked up to him. Everybody wanted to be like him. They're able to capitalize off of Jake. You know, if, uh, you know, if Jake had a talent. You know, they can they can be right there to exploit Jake's talent. Now, now, he's not able to do this. Now is, now he's complaining. He's complaining that things are changing, and they're and it's happening so fast that he feels that he's getting ready to be, the the. The, 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 what, what's the call? What's the call? The, uh, shit. The minority. There we go. There we go. He, <laughs> Esau, and you know what? I was, I was at the park earlier today. I was doing like a little workout and stuff like that. And I'm like, damn, man. This, I'm, I'm surrounded by nothing but the area that I'm in. I mean, there's there's Jake's here, but it's really it's it's nothing but heathen nations. Esau too, Ukraine, Russia, uh, the, the small hats, and all you all you don't even hear English. You hear you hear uh, different languages. That's all I hear. Uh, yeah, Elam, d you know, different tribes of Elam, whether from Tibet, India, Pakistan. You got Kushites, you know. You got you got Japhites, you got all type of Moabites, and and, and and this is this is truly this is truly Babylon the Great. This is truly uh, the the melting pot, okay. And and E he's not he's not looking too good. He's not, everybody's not looking up to E like they once used to look up to E, okay. He's he's being looked at as a as a a criminal. Look what them small hats are doing over there in that land. Okay. Let me let me go back. Let me go back. For I will take away the rejoicing of of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. This reminds me of Isaiah the twenty fourth chapter. Okay. Uh, the 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 mirth of the land is gone. How how this land will mourn and lament for you know for their state. Okay. For fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. Mean, oh, they're also speaking about why is their government leading them into World War III? Why, why are they doing this? Why are they provoking Russia? 
Do you not know that Russia, Putin, and all these Edomites, one thing they, they, they speak, um, when, when I hear them speak about Putin, the West, they actually, they're like, uh, what do they call them, Putin fanboys? But they, they highly respect Putin. The, these individuals that, not the mainstream media, the mainstream media, they're, they're you know, they're, uh, they're paid off to, to speak a certain narrative. But the actual narrative, the actual, the actual sentiment of the people is, Putin, you know, he's not the best guy, but he's damn sure not the worst guy. He, he's, he's more level-headed than the, these, these individuals here in the United States. They're, they're actually provoke. They're actually provoking Russia. They're like, just leave them alone. Do you not understand that they're they are not bluffing? They have a large military force. They have a large nuclear arsenal. So you got immigrant crisis. You got this coming food crisis. You got the change of demographics. Okay. You got your your cities turned into shit. And then you have World War Three looming over your head they they also they pretty much made the automatic draft from ages 18 to what 26 you have to auto, you're, you're automatically registered so Esau like I said he he's very diligent right he he looks into things unlike you so-called black Spanish Native Americans you don't look into anything your your focus is Xbox PlayStation basketball you know who's going to get drafted you know that's where that's where your mind is at Esau he's actually seeing that like man this this shit is this shit is getting ready to go down something's wrong Th this is not normal I'm upset and then you, then he turns around he sees Jake you know <laughs> so you you have to you actually actually have to worry about um not only the the chaos in your in your country but also this fire that's getting ready to come okay it's just a down it's just a downward spiral it's been a downward spiral but now it's accelerating okay for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time O Jerusalem right the Israelites look about thee towards the east and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the most high lo thy sons come whom thou sentest away they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the holy one rejoicing in the glory of the most high because we went out we went out you know bad okay we we went out super bad but now now we get ready to come back in glory and as 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 you know, we get ready to come back. We, we're actually seeing the fall of this society that, that's done so, so much wrong to us and, and made no account of our labors. Okay? So I'm, I'm going to close it there until next time. Shalom to the left.